Hello, welcome back again. So, welcome to the experiment number four, that is the CRC CCITT. So, CRC is basically the error checking algorithm, which is uh, uh, abbreviated as a cyclic redundancy check. So, for the given data, we are going to check it with the with the error and without the error. There are two uh, possible uh, uh, programs which uh, we are going to run here. So, verifying the program for the cases with the error and without error. So, we're going to see both. Um, let us go into the theory part of it so here you can see that the data which is uh, received from the application layer is just the data so it will not have any encapsulated uh, uh, extra things uh, which is together along with the data same thing will be there on the receiver end so the data will be flowing downwards here and upwards over there so application to application the transformation uh, the transmission will be happening so ap the data to be sent from the application layer will be trans will be given to the transport layer where uh, the tcp will be attached to it so it is called as a segment so it is called as a packet when uh, ip is attached to it in the network layer and finally frame is nothing but data link layer when it is uh, encapsulated along with the ip tcp and data so this is where the error checking is happening and this is where the cyclic redundancy check is going to be taking place so once that is understood uh, let us understand what is the actual algorithm about uh, crc so okay so this is the divisor which is uh, 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 which is divided with the the dividend so this dividend is the actual data so we are going to take this part which i'm highlighting with the mouse cursor uh, 1001 is my dividend and it is the data so i will be calling it as t and this is my divisor which is nothing but 1011 i will be referring to it as g here i have taken a bigger number uh, kindly ignore it for a uh, for a while i will uh, give you a small explanation and a small uh, number with an explanation uh, so that it will be clear so this is my g or called as a generator polynomial this is my data which is called as a t of something here so both are in an array of characters so t and g so what is this checksum uh, or cs which i will be explaining in the next stages okay this is called as a long division method so what we are going to uh, understand here is the data word is nothing but the t of the array which is called as a t and divisor is generator polynomial now what we are going to do is a long division method so it goes one so you are going to write the same thing here so you are do going to do an xor operation so one one is nothing but zero so you are not going to write anything uh, which is going to be cancelling with each other so zero 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 except for the first time you're going to write everything so after three digit what happens so we cannot stop here so we need to append the data with the some n number of datas or some number of datas so how many number of datas we are going to append that is the number of generator polynomial minus one so we have four digits of generator polynomial here so three digits of extra zeros we are going to append so uh, always the generator polynomial minus one so we have the final modified data as please understand this this is the modified data one zero zero one zero 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 is my modified data so once you get the modified data after this three digits of xoring you are going to bring this zero first zero the appended zero here anyhow we have uh, excluded this one x or one so we are going to have four digits of data now after the four digits of data which is available in the, the first iteration uh, what we can see is the, the msb is zero so we are not going to bring the same data here so we are going to only have zeros here so zero x or with zero will be zero again but we are not going to consider the leftmost bit so again one zero zero only three bits are available so next iteration we are going to bring the second zero which is appended so we have one zero 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 that is one zero 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 so since we have one here x operation xor operation since we did not have zero uh, did not have one here and we had zero here we did not have an xor operation we had one here so xor operation 
now coming back to the second iteration 1011 after bringing back the second appended zero 11 xord is zero again we are going to omit this 0110 with the same help with the same uh, uh, method what we have already seen so we are going to have 011 with the xor operation and zero with the appended extended data which is going to be bring brought down so again zero with zero uh, since we have a zero here we are not going to bring the divisor so we are going to only have zeros here so if the leftmost bit is zero use zero zero as divisor if the leftmost bit is one use the same as divisor so this and this iteration will have with the divisor and if we have a leftmost bit zero so this is the consideration which you are going to do so finally when we are out of zeros which uh, we can bring down from the uh, modified data again i'm going to remind you this is the data and this is the modify uh, this is the appended zero and totally it is called as a modified data so this is the divisor that is called as a generator polynomial so once all this operation is happening once you are xoring with zero and you are going to uh, do after the xoring operation you are going to omit the leftmost part of it and you are going to be remaining with 1 1 and 0 so this is going to be the remainder so remember that the remainder along with the actual data that is the data word data word plus remainder will be called as a code word so please understand and remember this so i'm going to repeat this again uh, let us discard the quotient so we are least bothered about the quotient 1001 is my t of something that is an array 1011 is my generator polynomial which is my divisor along with the appended zero that is this minus 1 zeros that is 3 zeros is called the modified data this is called the checksum this is called the checksum we are going to come back to this later and the final uh, reminder along with the available data is together called as a code word so please remember this when we go to the next slide so once that is clear uh, we are going to have a hash define uh, to get the string length of g so how many how much i'm i'm not going to consider this as an example i'm going to take this as an example so how many digits of g we, we had we had four number of g's so there is four uh, digits of g's so string length will be four so n will be treated as four so kindly discard this data for a while so checksum will have uh, 128 range and uh, t as we already said this is my t the actual data word 1001 or the data which is 1001 represented here so once you get the data we are going to uh, initialize few uh, uh, integer elements uh, we'll see why it is used uh, in the later stages so we'll directly go to the main so enter the data and enter the generator polynomial so we'll have uh, the data and the generator polynomial in t and g respectively so once you get the string length you put the string length in a how much is the data size so we had a uh, generator polynomial as well as the data equal in size that is 4 you can take any number of uh, any uh, amount of uh, elements there so string length of t is equal to 4 so a we have 4 and capital n we have 4 so what we are going to do is this loop is simply doing appending n minus 1 zeros that is g minus 1 zeros that uh, uh, the generator polynomial minus 1 zeros as i already told this appending needs to be done so how many uh, number of zeros need to be put that is number of ge generator polynomial minus 1 so this needs to be taken care by the help of this for loop so how much zeros we need to put that is from e is equal to a that is a is nothing but the string length of t so e is equal to 4 from 4 up till a plus n minus 1 so a is again 4 plus 4 minus 1 totally 7 so 4 to 7 that is 0 1 2 three from here that is 4 5 6 7 seven is not included 7 it is excluded because it is less than a plus n minus 1 that is a plus n minus 1 is 7 so e is less than 7 e is equal to 4 so e plus plus so 4 to 7 that is 4 5 6 7 is excluded remember so these amount of datas need to be included so this loop is simply doing that so after that we are going to go for crc crc is very simple try to understand so for e is equal to 0 e less than 
e plus plus so what is happening here from the modified t please uh, uh, kindly refer to the the previous figure where i have this as t and this is the modified t 1001 and 000 included with the previous data is nothing but the modified t so that from the modified t treat the first n bit as checksum so now the checksum as i already told this is my current checksum this is my current checksum which i am going to have a uh, changed checksum every every uh, iteration we are going to discuss that later so my checksum will be nothing but the t of e so once that is established Uh, you're going to do a uh, do while loop where uh, if the first bit of cs is one, then g xor with cs. If the first bit of one, if the first bit of one is as I already explained, if this is one, so I'm going to do an xor operation. So uh, that is what the xor operation is. Uh, we'll go to the xor operation for any number of datas this is a special this is a special uh, uh, operator that is a question mark operator if these two are equal that is if both the values are equal then it is zero if they are not equal then cs will be equal to 1 that is if both values both entities are same then it is going to be a zero if both ent entities are different that is going to be one so that is basically an xor operation so uh, just remember it is an easy xor operation so if both are equal uh, then it is zero if both are unequal it is one so once that is happening if the bit of uh, first bit of cs is, is one and uh, um, we are going to do an xor operation so we are going to do an xor operation here we did not do an xor operation only here we did an xor operation if the first bit is one all right so once that is happening next is during the xor operation the first bit of both the operands will be same hence it is discarded as i already explained in the previous slide since these are these both are going to be same 1 1 is going to be 0 so we are going to exclude this 0 which is not written here we are going to have only three digits here before we get down the appended digit so once that is happening appended zeros n minus 1 will be brought to the last bit of cs so once that is brought totally four digits will be there one bit is ex uh, one bit is discarded one bit is brought back so totally four will remain as it is so i'm going to show you again the you're going to treat the modified t the first 10 bits as cs so modified bit is only this much but only first 10 bits are this much after that if you are going to have one here then xor then only three digits are there you are going to bring the fourth bit down so same operations you are going to do until you are running out of until you have run out of the appended bits of zeros okay Uh, now crc is completed and uh, we are going to go uh, for the checksum so just print what is the checksum so cs is nothing but the code word which we have already said uh, it is a mixture of two things one is a reminder uh, which is uh, pre appended with the actual data so we have seven digits uh, so together this is a remodified it is a modified and remodified data which is called as a code word so once that is happening so you need to know whether there is an error in the system or not so what we are going to do is this is uncorrupted data because we have already seen 1001 110 1001 there is no error here so once that is performed uh, that is uh, divided with the same divisor as previously that is 1011 whatever the quotient is the z the reminder will be zero 
in case if I change the data and make it corrupted instead of this one if I invert it and change it mm, not only one bit you can change the uh, any number of bits so in case uh, during transmission if there is a change in the bit uh, instead of 1000 in the 1001 I'm going to change this bit and do the same uh, division long division op operation no matter what the quotient is I am not going to yield a 000, zero, zero reminder so when I don't have a 000, zero, zero, it is a non-zero syndrome or also called as a corrupted data. So this side, right hand side, you see a corrupted data and the left hand side, it is uncorrupted data. So this is what we are actually looking for uh, when you are transmitting it. So now let us go back to the program again. So in case, finally the appended zeros in the modified data T will be replaced with the final checksum and be treated as a code word, which I have already said. So this is what is happening in the left hand side of the program how many how much our data that is uh, this three amounts of data will be added to t so in a for loop we are going to put it so whether you want an error correction or not is the next question so if you want an error question correction uh, error detection you need to uh, enter it as one so let me run the program for you okay enter the data so let us enter the same data what we have already given in the system enter the data so 1001 so 1001 and uh, the generator polynomial I've uh, changed it which is uh, uh, not like the manual but like the figure I'm going to show 1011 as 1011 so when you run the program you will see that the checksum is 110 which is 110 this is the checksum together this is called as a code word so together you see this as a code word which is already shown so whether you want an error correction or not that is i will say i need an error detection so enter the position where you need to have an error inserted so we'll uh, use the same example so this is uh, somewhere around one two that is zero one two three third bit third bit so i will have this as the error in use data so one zero zero one one zero one zero zero one one zero so error detected is shown here so this is actually the program how it is to be run all right now after you have uh, inserted uh, one here uh, when you say that you need to have an error detection so if b is equal to one that is you need to have an error detection what it does invert the digit where the error needs to be inserted so where which position i have inserted three here so uh, this is uh, the third position where i will change it so this is nothing but a not operation since uh, you know the same way we have used uh, XOR operation this is the same not operation using the special special symbol here so uh, if t is equal to 0 what I am going to do is if t is equal to 0 0 equal to equal to 0 make it 1 if t is not equal to 0 make it 0 means 0 will be converted into 1 1 will be converted into 0 this is a simple not operation inverting the digit where the error needs to be inserted which is the position e is the position t of e is the position so this is the error in image data and uh, again you are performing crc so you are going to do the same iteration here again with the corrupted data or the uncorrupted data so for whatever the loop is so finally you get to know if the error detected or if the error is detected or not detected when you encounter other than zeros here you need to expect only zeros if you are expecting uh, a non corrupted data like so in the left hand side if there is any other data such as one here in any other position that means you have an you know non uh, um, proper data or uh, error in its data.